you today on Knit Happy with Self Striping Yarn. It's a book about all those sorts of fun things that you can do with sock yarn, you know, except make socks. Um, it's a great book, I really love it. But full disclosure, I thought I'd just let you know that I was actually a tester for one of the patterns, um, so much so that I can show you my name is in the book under the testers. Um, but this book is an awesome book. Um, and I bought this book because it's got so many great patterns in here. So I thought we'd go through and I'll show you some of the awesome designs. So the first one is these mittens, which are right cute. I can imagine sock yarn, you know, with those. Those are really cute mittens. Uh, and that's uh, an adventurous beginner pattern. And then we can go to... Uh, sharp curve mittens. Now aren't they cool? That's a cool mitten. I like that one. That's, I love the, the thumb cuff in those. And then we come to these Rainbow Adventure ones, which are the ones that are on the cover. Now I love these, but they're like fingerless mittens. Now wouldn't it be cool if they had a um, bit in there that show you how to turn them into mittens, but they don't. But um, I really love these. There's another picture. Um, it's a well-written book, this. You really like it. So next we have Leapfrog. Look, look at that. Look at this. Isn't that cute? What a great little feature. So there's all sorts in here. So we've got the Glitz Mittens, which are intermediate. Now, now they're fancy, aren't they? I really like those. Another picture of them. There's a bit of a graph. And then we go to hats, the rapid run. That's a cute hat. I actually have some yarn that would be perfect for that hat. So that's uh, a beginner pattern, which is cool. Sidelong glance. Another one. A colourful rim and a plain top. Uh, everyday magic bonnet. Now, how cute is this? I think this would be great if you like wore bike helmets at all. Um, I think that's, it's a cute and they've got the little tie. I just think they're absolutely adorable. The back of the girls, the front, the front. Isn't that cute? I love it. Side. Um, backdrop hat. That's a cute hat. It's got like little eyelets or something in it. Another photo. There we go. Let's see. Gallivant. That's a nice one. I like this hat. I'm thinking of making this one for myself because look at the side. Look how that, so you can always pull it down. I like that one a lot. I really, really like that. I think I was going to make that one for myself, but I ran out of time this winter. Let me look at cows now. So that's a beautiful one. Uh, slippery cow. Look at this one, like a little bandana type style. I really like that one. Got a picture of it. Another cow. Oh, this has got the split over here so it'll fit nice in a jacket. So that goes over your shoulder. That, that would go nice with my raincoat, actually. I like that one. Hmm. And what have we got this one? What's this one called? Rainbow Blowout. That's a nice one. That definitely looks socks. <laughs> I like that one. And then we've got the indicator shawl. That's a cool one, isn't it? A nice big wrap. That's a nice one. This real shawl. Pretty. They're like little eyelets. It's amazing what you can do with socks. And wooden outwood. Look at that. That circle is beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? The Daring Devil, that, isn't that cool? It's kind of like a wrap, shawl, scarf, all in one. That looks so cool on. Flipped shawlette, nice skinny one, that's nice. With the two-tone colours. And then we're on to like, cardigans and stuff. Now, this one. I have to show you this one. This is the one I test knit. So look at this. Now what you need to know is look at the size, this goes up to a 6L. So if we go up to the finish sizes, where's the finish measurements? Here, up to 
um, 66 inch chest. That's huge. Like this is so inclusive, this pattern. There's another one. Doesn't that look cool? So you use your sock yarn for the cardigan. So let me show you mine. I just have to stand up to this. Hang on a second. Here's mine. Let me just move the book. So instead of using sock yarn, I went and bought a whole bunch of really bright, colourful four ply balls of wool. And I made my own sock yarn. Now my son really loves this section. I really like this section. I think it turned out really well. My daughter likes the spots. I just use my imagination, but if you're just using sock yang, you just let it go. And I didn't want a black, black body, so I went with this sort of tonal black. And it's just, it's just really, I'm so proud of myself that I did this. Do you like it? Do you think it looks good? I love wearing it. Especially when I put these cute little, can you see them? Lightning bolt buttons on there. It's really comfy, it's really warm. And I just love these sleeves. So that's the one I test knit. So here we go back to the book. So that was there, that's that pattern. And the good thing is, they also do a kids version. Isn't that cool? So my kids have requested a, <laughs> a kids version. So then we go into a baby jumper now. Seriously, cutest thing ever. I love that the back of it and we have this is my next thing to knit once again the size is here go up to a 7xl which is 72 inches bust which is huge isn't this cool see so this is knit sideways isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen I I can see myself wearing this all the time. So I'm trying to keep an eye out for this perfect yarn. Another picture of it there. Isn't that cool? Just nice details right above you. Just, you know, your decolletages. I love it. So simple. Another one. Because uh, it's similar to sock arms, but can you see the sort of swirl? And it's a jumper. And it's got a, you know, the neck. And the split hem. I like that one too. I like everything in here. I wish I could make everything. Check this one out. Isn't that awesome? Once again, this goes up to a 6XL. This one goes up to uh, 71.25 inches. Awesome. Look at that. How cool is that? It's gorgeous. And that's it. That's the look. It's awesome. You get it just for this pattern get it for this sock yarns one and just get everything else and use up the stash that you've got i really like it 